Welcome to my channel and I am back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this video, I'll take you uh, through the shortcut keys which are used to interact with the cockpit lights and the external lights of the plane. This video is especially for the beginners and for those people who are not uh, really used to the shortcut keys just like me. Uh, so I think it's going to help you a lot. Uh, in this video, I will show you three different planes, uh, Airbus A320neo. Uh, the Boeing 787 and the Boeing 747, which comes as a default plane in the Microsoft Flight Simulator because uh, they have a slightly different behavior when you use these uh, shortcut keys. So in this video, I'm just going to show you. Right now, uh, I'm in the Airbus A320neo, as you can see. Uh, first of all, um, I have uh, selected um, a sunset time uh, so that at least we can see inside the cockpit uh, because if I try to make it in the night, it gets too dark. Uh, so I'm just trying to keep it like this. First of all, I would just like to tell you one shortcut key for the flashlight for the cockpit. If uh, it's too dark, let's say like this, if I change the time from here, let's say if it's too dark, still you can see it uh, in the inside the cockpit, but I think in Boeing 787, it gets a bit difficult to uh, look at uh, the different controls of the plane. Uh, so if you cannot see anything, you can uh, press uh, Alt L to get the flashlight uh, in the cockpit and then with the help of this, you can turn on the batteries and the external power. Okay. Then you can press Alt L again to get rid of the flashlight. Now, this is a standard uh, uh, lighting system uh, for the Airbus A320neo when you start it in the Microsoft Light Simulator. All you have to do is this interact with some of the controls in order to increase and decrease the lights. Now what I'll do is this, right now I will just uh, press uh, Alt, uh, sorry, a Space and L and you will see the external lights are on but right now uh, no other light is on in the cockpit but if I press Space Bar and L once again you will see uh, some lights going off in the cockpit over here on this panel and uh, plus the external lights are also off. Uh, so in this case you press Space Bar and L and then you can interact with these controls in the cockpit uh, to control the lights for the for the pedestal and uh, uh, for the panel in front of you. Uh, so let's go out and uh, let's have a look at the plane from outside. So all the lights are now on. You can see the nav lights, the beacon, and uh, plus the wing lights, uh, the taxi lights. So all the lights are on. So if I press spacebar and L, it's everything is off. So this is uh, one plane. So now let's uh, move to Boeing 787 and see what happens when we uh, use these shortcut keys. Now I'm in the cockpit of the Boeing 787 and it's still it's the sunset time. And um, the same procedure, if you press Alt L, then you can see the flashlight. And if it's too dark, uh, as I was telling you before in this video, that uh, for the Boeing 787, it's difficult to look at the control. So let me just change the time and uh, let me just show you. So if it's dark, you cannot see inside the cockpit. Hardly anything is visible. Uh, so over here, if you press Alt L, then the flashlight becomes available. And with the help of this, you can turn on the battery and then you can connect the plane to the external power. And now the external power is available. You can press Alt L again and you can get rid of the flashlight. Now if you press spacebar and L, you'll see all the lights are up, even the external lights. But if you are parked at the gate, obviously you don't need the external lights. External lights are only used after the pushback because, you know, these lights can be really harmful to the eyes of the people on the tarmac. And uh, that's why you press Control L to get rid of the external lights. So now the internal lights are active, the cockpit lights and uh, the external lights are off. So if I just go out and uh, look at it, so you'll see all the lights are now on. Let me just, uh, I think, zoom in. Yeah. So you can see all the lights are now on, the beacon, uh, the nav lights, the wing lights, and uh, plus the taxi lights, all the lights are on. Great. Uh, so just to revise <laughs> what we um, have just seen. So if you press uh, Alt L, it gives you the flashlight. If you press Spacebar and L, you can turn on all the lights 
and turn off all the lights in the cockpit and external lights. And if you press Control L, you can turn on and off the external lights. Okay, so you can see with this um, feature in the Boeing 787, all the lights are up. And if you want to just get rid of this uh, floodlight over here, you can just use this knob to change the brightness and uh, that's it. I think it's, it's, it, it looks better now. Now this is Boeing 747 and uh, we will see how the uh, shortcut keys for the lights work for this plane. Uh, so let me just change the time. I just want to show you something. Uh, let's change it to the night time and you can see just like uh, the Boeing 787 you cannot see uh, the buttons or the controls in the cockpit so that's why you need to press alt l to activate uh, the flashlight flat flashlight for this plane is slightly dim but anyhow i can just make out where the battery is and uh, let's change it to auto and let's connect the external power as soon as the external power is up you can see except for the floodlights and the dome light the rest of the lights for the pedestal for the mcp for the upper uh, upper panel overhead panel these lights are up so if i press space bar and l what will happen you can see all the lights are up and especially the external lights are also working you can see all the external lights again and they are active and you can use them and press if you press control l you can turn off the external lights but still, you can see um, uh, the light at the nose wheel is active. So this is something that you have to take care of during the flight. So what you can do is this. You can turn off these lights manually. Taxi light and this light. Okay. And the rest, I think you can also turn off the wing light because you, you don't need it once you are parked at the gate. Uh, so that's it. So once again, uh, just taking you through, through the three shortcut keys, Alt L will give you the flashlight and then spacebar and L will turn on and off all the lights, external and the cockpit lights and control L will turn off the external light. But in Boeing 747, you have to turn off uh, these lights yourself. If you want to use the short, shortcut keys, you can use them. And if you don't, then uh, it's totally your call. But uh, the main purpose of this video was to just show you uh, how these three shortcut keys work for three different planes in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. And with this, the video comes to its end. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.